Hello there. In this video, I want to go over five different web resources that you may not know, but they will help with the AI generating art one way or another. Some will discover something new, something you maybe already know. So, and we begin with the first, it's a lexica.art, the online search engine for the stable diffusion images. So it's meaning you can go around and you type like Al <laughs> ugly aliens, where I put it, and I receive all of these different aliens from different sources, whatever people was rendering with a stable diffusion. And of course, if you want it, you can click on an image and you can see right here, it's provided for you prompt. So you can actually crop, uh, copy the prompt and use it or get inspired, see what people are using. This is for some people who used Mid Journey, kind of familiar with a similar community feed where you can go and uh, type um, word which is going through community feed and provide for you. However, this is what's specific to Mid Journey and Alexis will apply to all stable diffusions generated art. And next, if we speak about generated style in art, this is stuck in a wikipedia.org of at least of the art movements. If you can look on this list, it's a huge, it's all different. And best part, of course, if you don't know what the folk art, you can click in and it will explain and show you what does it do. So it's a great, great tool for the reference of different art styles. All what you need to do, just copy and paste in your text string and done deal. And speak about art styles. Some of them may refer to the artists, some may refer to the drawings art. On uh, Pinterest, I found this excellent board, which have it all of these different art styles with the images. And this is important because I can reference and I can see what image does look to all different type artists, compositions, poses, and other things, elements that you can easy just going and copy that style, copy uh, text prompt of the specific pose and put it inside your text string and have the result. Okay, another one resource it is actually, wow. I'm serious, when I found out about this resource, I was stunning of amount it's here. And this is was created by Alex Morozov. So if you look, if you work before maybe with like stable diffusion or other ones, you done with a collab. Collab, it's an online cloud um, computing systems like many clusters where you can go and create a notebooks or collection of software and run specific program remotely. So it's in some case, you don't run on your machine, you run somewhere. And this is providing special what they call notebooks. They store all information about how to set up this application, how to run and what produce. So in this collection he put together, you can see it is a lot of those notebooks, which you can open, copy and collab and work on, continue working on this which produce anything, transfer a facial movie, uh, facial movie, colorize your video, colorize image, zero text, highly accurate um, predictions. I mean, if you look how long this list of those notebooks, it is literally will take you days and days and days to do. Even Dali Mini here, all this G Pen, all of these notebooks. And this is most important, it is active updates. So he constantly updating new elements and thanks again, big thanks to Alex Morozov about this list, but this is very, very fun list to see all of this new that people de develop, AI related uh, renders that may be related from video music and other ones. Seriously, this list is, will take you forever just to go through, try, and I'm sure you find something you don't know on this list, they can go and render and create it. And as we speak about reference, one of the best actually style and art reference I found on a mid journey help. So if you're going to app library styles, you can find mid journey styles where pre render. And again, for many people like me, I like to see visuals. Sometimes maybe I don't remember how the specific artist or style will look. So in mid journey provide this great um, access to anybody you can go and look on the style and a best of course, you can copy this style, copy text who is using and produce. And we speak about mid journey as a bonus. You have uh, six, but we'll relate to mid journey. This, this is online unofficial mid journey manual. So if you're on Google drive, you can download it this, or you can put it in your drive. And I was really impressed how well this is document 
put it by anonymous penguin the very nice if you work with mid journey you probably won't go over this manual which is you can see it's quite a bit extensive cover a lot of stuff with mid journey help you with the uh, fine styles and everything and by the way this is not just uh, mid journey this will apply also to the stable diffusion based on the styles and other stuff and another one's ai render images so right here we have it our five uh, sources five different web things it's a lexus.art next we have it also the list on wikipedia for our styles we have it our pinterest reference visual reference images we have also our uh, notebooks collab books that we can use it and of course we have it our from mid journey the style reference so i know it's way more the reference that will be happy if you can post it in comments and share with me what you find there so other people can look on them as well but i think this is interesting and i wonder how many of you actually don't know some of that list let me know if you find something new thank you for watching i have a great time